This is a demonstration of the moat emitters that I've alluded so far for my website, landmarkcatalog.com. You can actually go there and see still images of these moat emitters, but they are an animated uh, effect prop. So, crazy idea. I thought maybe I'd show you the actual animated look. I do not have all of them. Nobody knows how many there are just yet. Um, but this will give you an idea of what some of them are like. You can find another video I've made that has the magic fire mode emitters in the magic torch fire mode emitters, just to get a sense of what they look like. Um, this one focuses on water and steamed steam based mode emitters that I have. Uh, I'm going to do a side by side comparison. I have them right now against the polished obsidian just so that they're easier to see. I like that for my website and for things like this because it is so shiny and dark, some things are easier to see on these dark backgrounds. So first you have on the left, the water drip moat emitter. Okay, water drip moat emitter. If I zoom in a little, you'll notice that it's a heavier drop. Makes me think of the icicles melting outside of my house right now. <laughs> the one on the right is the jungle water drops jungle water drops and then here and that's more of a round drop kind of like condensation drops probably why it's a jungle um, of these two you can see the actual mode emitter is this little doodad right here this little triangular thing for whatever reason this one only drops down below this one kind of is in an area so it starts a little bit above but then drops down below as well all right, so that's those two. You can kind of see how broad the drops are there. The next one is the water geyser warning. So this is, if you know what a geyser is, or it sprays out the steam and God knows what, depending on the geyser. Um, this is the warning mode emitter, so before the actual eruption happens. So there is that, and to give you a sense again of how broad it is. You can kind of see it going through the wall back here also. Water geyser warning. Got it? Good. Okay. The next one in the lineup is the regular water geyser. So this would be after the geyser goes off. It's that. And you can see it's very tall. <laughs> this is a really big effect. Um, all of these are at their natural scale. You can use tweak mode by right clicking on any of these. Choosing tweak mode, they change the controls a little. And you use this function to scale things up and down. I'm just going to leave it at its natural size for now though. So I'm going to turn that one off so we can get the next. The next one I've put down here is the hot springs steam that a moment. I'm going to zoom out a little just to give you an idea of scale with my character here. It goes a little higher than my wall, but I didn't want to, I wanted you to be able to see around the wall too. So you can kind of see against the landscape. It goes pretty high up here actually. It just dissipates as it goes up. And that one off so that we can compare it to the next. The next one is the small fog moat emitter. And this is kind of a, a very dense low fog. Again, zooming out, kind of give you an idea of the scale. All of these little um, doodads that you use to turn them on and off are nice because you can actually, when you're building, then sink it into the ground or wall or wherever you want to hide it. That's why they made these little bitty pip things so that you can turn them on and off. So that gives you an idea of what that one is like. And letting that shut off. The next one is the medium fog. This one covers a much broader space. So 
So you can kind of see it there. It goes well beyond actually where I've got the obsidian. Kind of fades out. Actually, let's put a little more obsidian over here so you can see it. There. <laughs> now you see why I choose the obsidian. It's a little easier to see against a dark background. When you're in-game, I think it's also a little different than the, a video because, you know, you'd be walking through it, so you'll notice it a little bit more. Um, with some mode emitters, I have noticed that it's easy to think that they're not working because of the direction that they move in or if your um, material like this white, I love the white stucco, love it, love it, I don't know why, one of my favorites, but it can be hard to see against those backgrounds sometimes, so you really have to be paying attention, so let's get on the edge here. You kind of see it over here, but you can tell clearly it's a lot easier against the dark background. I do believe that covers it for the moat emitters demo. This is um, part of my landmark catalog website, which is going to be in the links also at the in the comment section and or somewhere if you go to my actual page for this video. Um, and I'm going to link now, leaving space at the end of my video, so that you can see the fire magic fire moat emitters and magic torch fire moat emitters that I've also made a video of. Thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon.